right. musical band. They tied the note. Natalie was born in Louisville, Kentucky. I worked there for 12 years. We both love the Derby City. So we're getting in the spirit of the Kentucky Derby with uh, John and the good folks at Ocean Prime and the Tech Center. Good to see you. Good morning. Our, our camera guy there, Dave, does a great call to the post. Would you like to do your call to the post? I'm not going to. He left his bugle at home. <laughs> but of course, beyond the uh, pomp and the circumstance, it's all about the mint julep. You know this if you've been there. You're going to do a, a little version, a modern version of it? What are you going to do? I am. I am. Uh, this is our version of the mint julep. Okay. Uh, featuring Old Forester bourbon, Di Sirono, Angostura bitters, and mint, of course, over crushed ice. All right. So uh, I know there's a lot of muddling going on. Every, every mint julep I've ever had involves muddling. Mm -hmm. Are you going to be muddling today? No muddling today. It's a muddle-free zone. Muddle-free zone. Well, show me how it's done. Absolutely. So we're going to start with a little bit of uh, Old Forester bourbon. Two ounces to be exact. There you go. So that goes in the shaker. You're not going to muddle the mint. Not going to muddle okay. the mint. Shaking right. integrates said... it just nice, actually. So then, then the DiSarno. A little DiSarono. A quarter ounce of the DiSarono. It's so expensive, I can't even pronounce it. That in it goes. All right, and then uh, you have some simple syrup. A little too, simple right? syrup, absolutely. That's going to be the third element. That's pretty simple. Very simple. That's why they call it simple syrup. All right. Syrupy too. In goes the. Actually. And a little bit bitters, Ooh, Angostura bitters. bitters. Bitters, named after our camera guy Dave, as a matter of fact. Nice. <laughs> it goes the ice. I've met a couple of bitters in my life. I yeah, think. so have I. And then now, in instead of muddling, you're going to shake. A little shake, absolutely. To give it a vigorous shake with the mint sprigs. Yeah, just some mints in there. Oh. By the way, do you have any derby stuff going on this weekend there at Ocean We Pride? do, actually. So we're featuring our derby day at DTC. Yeah. The uh, feature of the game in our or the the race in our lounge. So you can watch there while you're enjoying a mint julep. Absolutely. All right. Four TVs, Pour it out for me. wide open floor plan. Where are you there in the tech center? Uh, we're just off of I-25 in Bellevue. Easy to get to. Absolutely. Good stuff. Beautiful location. Uh, open floor plan. Beautiful decor. Inspired by the great outdoors. And boom, away we go. Right. You did it again, John. Right. By the way, you look like you belong at the Derby, I gotta say. You're a very sharp dressed guy. I left my hat in the Jeep though. That's unfortunate. <laughs> and your bow tie. My Cheers goodness. to you, John. Put the mint on there. A little mint we'll powdered sugar as all well. All of the jockeys and the horses. Oh, a little powdered sugar on top. Check out Ocean Prime this weekend if you want to enjoy the Derby on the TV and the drinks cool. in your hand. Cool. What do you think, Natalie? Should I bring it into you that since you're a Louisville so... girl? Yeah. <laughs> That's so pretty. All right, bring it in. Sugar now. on the mint. Really pretty. 